In this lesson, what we're going to do is digitize a logo. And we're also going to talk about the best image format you want to work with when you're trying to convert a logo to an embroidery file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a logo. Now this is um, a marketing page on a university website where they're presenting all of their different versions of yoga, lo <laughs> yoga logos and how you're supposed to use them. Um, and you'll see that for each of these logos, they're giving you two different options to download the JPEG or the EPS file. You're probably more familiar with JPEGs because all of the images that you take, all of the pictures you take on your cell phone are JPEGs. And you've probably imported JPEG images into um, into SoArt. So we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to save this image. I've actually already done this, but I'm going to save this JPEG image and we're going to bring that into, um, into SoArt. And we're also going to take a look at this EPS file, which downloaded. But the problem is that the EPS file won't import into SoArt. So why do you want to import an EPS file into SoArt? You're probably wondering. Well, an EPS format is a generic vector-based format. And 99% of logos are created as vector-based image formats. And the reason why is because they're scalable. Um, an EPS image, a vector-based image, is an image that is um, stored in the computer as a mathematical equation. So you can scale it up and it's always going to look nice and crisp and clear. Whereas a JPEG is comprised of pixels and you have a finite number of pixels in every image. So if you scale it up really big, it's going to start to look grainy. As you probably are aware, now let's just open that JPEG image into SoArt. And when we do, we will see that if we go to look at the number of colors, holy cow, we have a lot of colors here, even though the logo is comprised of blue and gold. We have tons and tons of colors here. And that's what happens when you import a JPEG into SoArt. It doesn't know the difference between this pixel and that pixel. And so we have to go through this process of merging similar pixels together and reducing our colors so that we can be base stitch areas on these areas of color. Okay, so the EPS file is going to behave a little bit differently, but we cannot import an EPS file into SoArt. So now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to convert that EPS file um, to an SVG file. And this random website I found just by Googling it, it's zamzar.com forward slash convert forward slash EPS to SVG. So we're going to go ahead and find our EPS file that came directly from the university website and I want to convert it to an SVG. And you can see I already tested this out here, but it will appear shortly. It's thinking about it. And there is our SVG file. So I'll go ahead and download that. Now let's go ahead and, and open it in SoArt. Is this our SVG file? Yep. Go ahead and say OK. And now let's go to merge the colors. Hey, there is no need to merge colors because it is an SVG file. So art can tell the difference between this blue and this white right here. We don't have to go through any of this nonsense of despeckling or merging colors or anything like that. And we can move right away into the stitch area where we can start defining the shapes and digitize our shapes. Now we probably don't necessarily want to do everything as a straight up fill, but at least we don't have to clean up the image. And so that is the benefit of a vector based image and converting it to an SVG file so that you can digitize it for embroidery and so art. 